So we go into race number eight out of 25. It's heat three, senior road tax groups A and E. Here is your starting grid. So on the front row from pole position, it will be the Netherlands Jaden team. We'll have alongside Elia Papasena for good company. Lachlan Robinson and Austin Lee on row number two. Matthew Higgins and Firing Mega, row three. Mario Sidler and Lewis Gilbert rounding out the top four rows. Kader McQueen and Matteo Pianisola round out the top ten. Maxence Bouvier and Lotus Twin, row six. William Helgstrand and Kai Hunter, row seven. Andrei Petrovic, Sebastian Bach, Vincent van Kerkhoven, and Paul Fokwemin, Sam Bergstein and Mika Bartholomew ran at the top 20. Rashid Ganem, Lukas Schlegel, Mido Halika, William Christensen, uh, Jaden Popa. Then we've got Bakhti Schneider, Alexander Salvinkov, Felipe Falk, Magic Hamera, Ralph van der Pavert. And then last but by no means least, we have Marco Trippenpreis from Austria. So 10 minutes plus an additional lap on the timer. So far, we've had two different heat winners. We've had Kai Hunter and Tommy van der Sloys. So there are 10 heats in total. If anyone gets the clean sweep, then they're guaranteed to be at the sharp end, the ranking after heats. So the drivers make their way through the 12th and final corner. 15 and a half rows, 31 competitors come out of the final corner. Revs rise. Are we ready? Are we steady? Lights are out. We're underway. Good start by both Jaden Teen, Lachlan Robinson and Matthew Higgins. Elia Papasena trying to keep it around the outside of turn number two. But we have had a little bit of a coming together. That is the 9-0-4 that has gone exit stage left. That is Paul Forquemin. Looks to be maybe a GKS Lemons power cart that might have come into contact with him as they come out of the sixth and final corner. All bit of a touch on the grass for the 382. Maybe even the 362 as they make their way through into turn number eight for the first time. Might have been the 362 of Lucas Schlegel that might have had a slight moment. As at the front of the field, Jaden Teen leads the way. And it's Matthew Higgins, Lachlan Robinson, that ran out the top three. Fourth, it's Elia Papasena from Italy. But that's quickly changed because Austin Lee fires one up the inside of the Italian through into turn number two. Top three recovered by just under half a second as there is Matthew Higgins going up the inside of Jaden Team for the race lead. An 18 year old from Trafalgar in Wales, being mechanic by Father David, multi time British car champion and also multi time American rally champion uh, with uh, Vermont, uh, Vermont, Vermont sports cars, if I remember correctly, David. I hope I got that right. Uh, that was uh, with Subaru. Eight minutes and 20 still to go. It's getting a bit closer between the top five, maybe even make that the top six because France's Maxence Bouvier is closing. Jaden Teen looked for a move up the inside of Lachlan Robinson through the 12th and final corner, but could not get past the 326 representing the United Kingdom. Looks like we've had a couple of drivers drop a little bit further down the order. Mika Bartholomew and Caden McQueen have dropped down to 18th and 19th respectively. Austin Lee up the inside of Jaden Teen through into turn six. No room for Elia Papasena to get through. 
The Italian gets a bit uh, a bit brave on the braking. So does Maxence Bouvier from France. Louis Gilbert now has got himself up into seventh position past Matteo Pianizola. But that is a change for the race lead. Lachlan Robinson now in front of Matthew Higgins. So we still have seven and a quarter minutes still to go. The mechanics on the gantry just uh, on the outskirts of the final corner. Matthew Higgins looks to go up the inside to retake the lead. Going on to lap number four through on Lachlan Robinson and he makes the move stick. Austin Lee in the meantime has got past Jaden Team for third place. And now a move up the inside on Lachlan Robinson, but Robinson keeps it high, wide and handsome around the outside in the 326. Keeps second for the minute, but Austin Lee looks to go late on the brakes into turn seven. Gets through. Robinson has to relinquish that place, not for the want of trying. But stays in third position ahead of pole sitter Jaden Teen. Now the train is getting lengthy. Right, uh, top 15, rounded out by Sam Bergstein from the Netherlands, were covered by just over 5.2 seconds. Right, Robinson's just lost out third to Jaden Teen. And there is, now that is more than likely Max Maxence Bouvier behind Lockton Robinson. Lewis Gilbert looking up the inside of Elia Papasena, who has to use the runoff area to avoid. And just behind that is the 356, Matteo Pianizzola, that's just gotten through. And there's also, that's Rashid Ghanem in the mix there as well, at the back end of that train. That is Mario Sidler, 14th to first, after four laps covered by 3.4 seconds. And now, oh, that was a bit of a late lunge there from Maxence Bouvier on Lachlan Robinson. The 326 now down to what is going to be fifth position and is in the club, in the... Uh, in the firing line when it comes to Lewis Gilbert's in, uh, 2020 vision right now as they come out of the final corner just over 20 seconds to go until we hit the halfway point of this race Side by side action that was uh, Andrei Petrovic versus the 3 4 3 of Germany's Farin Mega. Mario Sidler was uh, a, a spectator on that one. So, four minutes and 45 seconds still remain on the timer, plus an additional lap. Matthew Higgins did have just under a seven-tenth of a second advantage. That's now gone down to six-tenths, courtesy of Austin Lee. Maxence Bouvier has just posted the fastest lap of this race. 54.761 seconds. Top four covered by just over a second. 28 drivers. Well, actually, we've had, uh, unfortunately, Vincent van Kerkhoffen was eliminated on the opening lap. So we still have 30, 30 drivers covered by 14.6 seconds after six laps. Maxence Bouvier now sends it up the inside of Jaden Teen through into turn nine. Oh, Bouvier runs a little bit wide coming out of the corner as uh, Jaden Teen uh, got back at him using the undercut through turn nine. So Bouvier went onto the curb, outside curbing coming out of turn nine, went sideways, nearly opened the door for Lachlan Robinson to get through. Gap now between first and second has gone down to 0.423. And nice again. Well, that is Maxence Bouvier again getting through on Jaden Teen. And now makes the move stick. Farhan Mega. That's the first fastest lap I've seen from him in a very long time indeed. Jaden Teen up the inside, back through for P3 at turn six. Maxence Bouvier trying to go one way, then the other. Could open the door for Lachlan Robinson if the French driver is not very careful. But not only Robinson, but also Gilbert. Through into turn nine. Just under three minutes remaining on the timer for this one. Again, the back end just stepping out. Gilbert up the inside of Robinson through turn number, number 10. That's now fifth position in the Scotsman's pocket. So 
Alonso, top four, covered by 1.3 seconds, going on to lap number nine of this race. Just under two and a half minutes to go, Farin Mega now up to 11th, Elia Papasena up to ninth, Gilbert up to fifth place. As Mino Halika has dropped all the way down from around 19th position down to 28th, we still have 30 drivers running. Just seen there the 901, that is William Haugstand battling away with Mario Sidler for 12th and 13th position. Jaden Team still holding on to third place ahead of Maxence Bouvier, who has steadily made his way up the order. But with a minute and 34 still to go, it might be a strawberry racing one too. However, the biggest thing is, is that Austin Lee has been closing that gap. And it's about a couple of cart lengths between them as they go down the back straightaway into turn number seven. Jaden Teen leading the three cart scrabble, or maybe make that more than that. I would probably treble that and then some. That's the battle for third position at the moment. We've got just under 60 seconds on the timer remaining. And Matthew Higgins, 375, still leading the way ahead of Austin Lee. Gap now two and a half tenths. Jaden Teen, Maxence Bouvier. Now Lewis Gilbert up into fifth. Lachlan Robinson, sixth place. Matteo Pianitola, Rashid Ghanem, Elia Papasena and Germany's Farin Mega complete the top ten positions. Robinson taking a brief look over his uh, right shoulder, going down the back straightaway at the Europolan. And Lewis Gilbert now has also gotten past Jaden Thien. So has Maxence Bouvier, who's going to start defending very, very sternly as the timer now hits zero. One more lap to go. Bouvier defending against Lewis Gilbert, who's looking to get the undercut. He's got Jaden Thien right up his rear bumper. It's the 380 from the Netherlands. Jaden Teen loses out to Gilbert, nearly loses out to Robinson. And then Matteo Pianicolo tries to fire it around the outside. A uh, little bit of a touch between Jaden Thien and Lachlan Robinson. Rashid Ghanem nearly gets compromised as a direct result of that. But Pianicolo, I don't know if he was, all, if he was uh, in the, fully in the runoff area on that particular point. The uh, sun glare was a bit, diff a bit difficult in terms of obscuring my view, but I'm not too sure. Pianicolo went round the outside at turn two, but if you do run wide, you have the possibility of going all four wheels onto the runoff area. But the final lap is about to be completed, and it looks like it's going to be three different winners from three. As into the final corner comes Matthew Higgins, and the 375, based out of Trafalgar in Wales, wins heat number three for Senior Rotax. Groups A and E by two tenths of a second ahead of fellow Strawberry Racing teammate Austin Lee. Maxence Bouvier takes third. Lewis Gilbert, the pride of Scotland, takes fourth ahead of Matteo Pianicola. Jaden Thien, uh, Lachlan Robinson, Rashid Ghanim, Fahin Mega, and Italy's Elia Papasena ran out the top ten. Lotus Twin, Mario Sidler, William Helgstand, Sam Bergstein, and Andrei Petrovic ran out the top fifteen. No second win for Kai Hunter. He would finish 16th at the end of that, ahead of Mika Barthelemy, Jaden Pope, Katie McQueen, and Paul Fokwemin. Lukas Schlegel, Alexander Savinkov, William Christensen, Magic Hamera, and Sebastian Bach round out the top 25. 30 drivers finished it, unfortunately, with Vincent van Kerkhoffen retiring on the opening lap. We had Ralph Underpave at Miro Halika, Felipe Falk, Baptiste Schneider, and Marco Trittenpreis rounding out the 30 strong grid, all completing the race distance separated by a total of 22.3 seconds.
So Jaden Teen would lead the field into battle for the third senior road sacks heat of the day with Lachlan Robinson following in behind him along with several others. But we did have a moment where Paul Fulkwemen would end up being on the receiving end of a touch with Vincent van Kerkhoffen, the latter retiring from the race on the opening lap. Then it would be Matthew Higgins that would take his turn at the front end of the field, getting past rather consummately easily on Jaden Teen for the lead of the race. Lachlan Robinson would then also decide to put his two cents in and overtake Jaden Thien through turn number nine, thereby securing second. Robinson would then also at one point lead the race before Matthew Higgins responded and retook the lead from the 326 from KR Sport into turn number two. Also, Austin Lee was definitely uh, getting himself into the thick of the action. So was Elia Papasena, trying to get through on the likes of Maxence Bouvier, Lewis Gilbert, and a few others. But Elia Papasena went sideways and hit the curbs, going through into turn number three, which compromised him and let a few other drivers go through. Maxence Bouvier also made steady progress throughout the course of the race, exchanging at points, places with Jaden Teen, and sometimes going sideways coming out of the exit of turn number nine. Jaden Teen would then respond and go through on the French driver into turn number six to retake third place as Higgins and Robinson would continue to battle for the race lead. Well, well Robinson was actually behind him at that point and he was coming under fire from the likes of Lewis Gilbert. And also going into turn number 12 a little bit later on in the race, the likes of the 918 would be uh, making some steady progress up through the field, battling towards the back end. That was uh, Felipe Falk from the Netherlands, proudly wear sporting the Brazilian flag on his side pods. But then also this battle between Maxence Bouvier, Lewis Gilbert and Jaden Teen would see them battle away over the third, well, the, the final position in the top three. But Matthew Higgins crossed the line first, two tenths of Austin Lee with Maxence Bouvier, Lewis Gilbert and Jaden Teen rounding out the top five. <laughs> 